tips and tricks to baking the best cookies. So once you have the perfect cookie dough, Taking it away. you're only halfway done. Oh, my sister's eating it raw. Somebody tell her they're not, she's not supposed to. But we'll give her a piece while we, <laughs> while we prep the rest. So once you make your cookie dough, you're only halfway done. So in order to bake really great cookies, you wanna do a few things. You want to weigh each one of them, first of all, and you wanna make sure that they weigh the same amount. Set your scale to a gram. I like to do between 50 and 70 grams. Um, this is 55, so we're gonna go with 55. Then you get them all weighed out. Right. Once you have them all portioned out at the same weight so that they bake evenly, we're going to now compress the dough and roll it into a ball. This is not the same as scooping cookie dough. Scooping cookie dough does not compress the dough, so you actually get the same texture throughout the whole cookie, as opposed to if you compress the dough like this, you'll get a soft, chewy center and nice, crispy edges. So let's roll them all. Once you have them all rolled up, make sure you scatter them on a sheet pan so you have the space of pretty much your hand anywhere you go. So in case the cookies do happen to spread, they're never gonna touch each other. And also the air will circulate around them a whole lot better in the oven. And we're gonna bake these for about 12 minutes. By the way, these are my viral chocolate chip cookies and they are pinned in my profile if you wanna make them. And you can also make them with my masterclass Art of Cookie Dough Kit which is linked in the TikTok shop. Look at these perfect, perfect cookies. The next thing you wanna do, still really important, as soon as they come out of the oven, without disrupting the cookies, remove that hot sheet pan to stop the baking process and just let them cool for a couple minutes before you bite into them. We're gonna break one open. So you can see it's a really nice thickness the edges are a lot more golden brown than the top. And if we break it open, it's still soft. And the trick is to under bake it by one minute so that by the time it cools off to room temperature, it's nice and soft in the center and perfectly crispy around the edges. This is the perfect cookie. And it's a secret recipe in my kit. You should definitely try one. Mmm. So bomb.